guys. I'm glad you joined us today for an update on STAR. If you're just new joining us, a quick recap on STAR. So STAR is a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, and she came in to us from a couple boaters that found her. She was floating out in the Laguna system. So she had some buoyancy issues, which means that she has some floating, uh, kind of like when we have gas and maybe get a little bloated. It's kind of like that. So she was floating, that resolved. She got treatment here with us at the hospital, did really well, and we were able to release her. And so right before release, we put a satellite tag on her. And that satellite tag, which you see a little bit of, of her being, um, having that tag applied to her, it allows us to then track her while she is out in the ocean. And we are excited to provide an update today on where she is and what she's doing. So we'll zoom in on our map here and we will look in here at South Texas. So that's where we are here at Sea Turtle Inc. We are on South Padre Island. And so we took her to release right on our beaches right here and walked her out right into that Gulf of Mexico, right in our beaches, and she swam away. And so we're able to see her with that satellite tag of where she's going and what she's doing. And we see that after we released her, she went out and she kind of did a little bit of, uh, kind of like orientation, figuring out where she's at. You can see her going a little south, she went a little bit north, and she kind of did these little loop-de-loops of uh, orienting with where she's at. And then she decided to head south and she headed south towards Mexico, and then she crossed over into um, waters off the coast of Mexico, and she has continued to head south. And she is currently heading south in those waters just offshore of Mexico, off the state of Tamaulipas, just south of us here on South Padre Island. And it looks like she may be heading towards um, one of the nesting beaches in Mexico. So our Kemp's Ridleys are gonna be nesting in about two months or so. They'll start nesting and one of the big nesting sites is in Mexico near a town called Rancho Nuevo right off the coast of Tamaulipas. So she's headed that direction. So maybe she'll be going there. We're not sure yet. Uh, along the way, she's probably eating some blue crabs and finding other food sources as she's kind of heading south. Now we do have nesting here on our island. Uh, so we'll have Kemp's Ridley's nesting with us in about two months as well. So we're excited to see nesting and to see Kemp's Ridley's come ashore to nest with us. And we're excited to see what Star keeps doing and where she's going. And hopefully we see that she's nesting somewhere as well. Uh, so tune in with us each week and we're gonna try to provide you an update on where Star is and what she's been doing since we last saw her. Now, for those of you who tuned in during her release, there were some great questions that were left in the comments, and I wanna take a minute and answer some of your questions. So let me pull a couple up, and if anyone has questions, leave them in the comments below, and we'll be able to answer them next week during our next update. So let's see, um, Nomi Roar asked, is it normal to sand the shell? It is. So in that beginning video you saw of a little bit of our um, putting that satellite tag on, and when we do that, one of the first things we do is we sand the shell just a little bit. Uh, so that takes off any algae, any potential like sand that's growing there, things like that that might be stuck. So it helps clean it up. And then it also is going to kind of scuff up that surface just a little bit. And that makes it so that we can have a really good attachment between the satellite tag and her shell. And it doesn't hurt her. Um, so you might notice that she's not moving at all really during that video. She's just kind of hanging out. Uh, we call it her spa day. Uh, but she just hangs out, it doesn't bother her, it doesn't hurt her, and it allows the tag to fix pretty well to the shell. We have um, Gino Salazar wonders, how far do sea turtles go? Gino, I wanna know the same thing. So that's why we're putting satellite tags on them so we can see how far do our turtles go. Um, because right now we have a general idea. Uh, we know that like our Kemp's release will nest with us here and then they'll maybe head, like I said, south to the Yucatan or maybe north around the Northern Gulf States over to Florida. Uh, but our satellite tag is gonna help us answer this question more specifically of how far does she go? Where does she travel after she leaves our area? And we're really excited to see all the information that we're gonna be able to learn um, from this satellite tag. So if you're interested in learning more, um, you can donate and help us purchase some more satellite tags so we can tag more turtles and find out more specifically where do they go and how far do they go and all the things that come along with that. Uh, one last question, Krista wonders, what happens when the battery dies? And so when the battery dies, unfortunately we'll not get signal anymore. And so we won't have any signals coming from her. Um, and we know that's gonna happen. It will probably happen in maybe six months or so. We're hopeful for maybe eight, eight nine months, maybe even longer. Uh, but at some point the battery will die and then we'll stop getting signal. Now, along with that, um, she though won't have the tag on for her entire life. Eventually um, she will shed it. So the sea turtle shells have scoots on the top of their shell. 
Um, and basically those are kind of like, um, they're kind of like scales, more similar to your fingernails that eventually they're gonna shed. And that's just part of what makes up their shells. So they do shed them as they grow. And so at some point she'll also shed the scoops that that satellite tag is attached to. So eventually it will fall off. So she won't have it for her entire life. Now, if you guys have more questions, um, please leave them in the comments below and I'm gonna answer them next week when we tune in to talk about where Star is and where she's been going. Thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.